Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. We have a really fun, really challenging workout for you today. Before we get started, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Feel free to leave me those super likes. I really appreciate you guys joining me for these workouts. We're going to get started setting up foot bars all the way down. I'm gonna go on to one red spring today, which is going to be one heavy spring on my reformer. Again, I'm gonna go really heavy for my arm today. If this is way too much for you guys, you can do a blue instead of a red or a medium instead of a heavy spring. Again, it is going to be very heavy for arms, so feel free to change as needed. We are going to start first by straddling your reformers. Your feet are on the floor. We're gonna take our hands to our shoulder blocks. We're just gonna do a quick stretch before we get moving. So I'm gonna bend my knees slightly. I'm gonna inhale, press my carriage out, let my chest drop down in between my arms. And then my exhale, I'm gonna tuck my pelvis around through my spine to come back in. Inhale, press out, let your chest drop down. Exhale, tuck around to come in. We have two more. Again, after this, we're gonna get a really good workout in today. Last one, and then round and come in. All right, now once we bring it back in, we're gonna take our knees onto our carriages and then our hands are gonna go into our headrest. Remind you guys, if you have issues with your wrists, drop down onto your forearms rather than being on your palms. I am gonna stay on my palms throughout this class. Shoulders over your hands, hips right over your knees. Grab your left strap into your hand. I'm gonna use my long loop just because I'm going heavy today. You guys can go long or short. Arm is gonna be nice and long at your side. The palm is facing back. And then on our exhale, we're gonna press our palm back behind us. And then on our inhale, we'll return. Exhale, press. Inhale, return. I wanna think I'm stabilizing for my shoulders and my core. Exhale to press back, inhale, return. Now, if you wanna challenge your stability a little more, you guys can reach your right leg back behind you and you can do your lats on one knee. You do not have to do this if you guys don't want to. Again, that's really gonna challenge your stability. The next time we press back, we're gonna hold that palm back, bend your elbow, tricep extensions. Palms can be flipped back still or it can be rotated to your hip. Right leg is up or down. That is up to you guys. Inhale, bend, exhale, press. We're gonna go for three, two, last one, and then we're gonna relax the knee down. Now, grab higher up onto your strap. You're gonna pull in the long loop goes onto the arch of your left foot. If you guys are on a blue spring, you can always go short loop instead of your long. Shoulders over your hands, hips are right over your knees. We're gonna exhale, kick that left leg back and slightly up. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press a little lift. Inhale, back in. Exhale, out. And inhale in. We want that glute max, hamstring to fire. We're gonna go for three more. Two. And then on this last one, we're gonna hold our leg back behind us, dip our toes straight down to the springs, and then lift straight back up. So down to the springs and up, down to the springs and up. We want again that glute max, right where your butt connects your leg to fire, hamstring to fire as well. We're going for three more dips, stabilizing from your shoulders and your core. Then on this last one, we lift up, we pause, flex your foot, and then circle this leg around, little circles of the leg for five, Three, two, one, relax that leg. All right, we're gonna take the strap off of our foot. We're gonna keep this left strap and we're gonna rotate to the left side of the room. Now, when you get here, strap is gonna be in your right hand. I am pretty far away from my shoulder block. I'm gonna hold onto my shoulder block and take my right foot into my headrest. The knee can be slightly bent or you guys can go long leg. I'm gonna flip my palms up to the ceiling slight little bend to my elbows, ready, exhale, the fingertips come together overhead, inhale, return. Fingertips together, return again. I am on a red, a heavy spring today. If this is too much for you guys, go to a lighter blue spring. Up and down for two. And then last one, now hold here, side bend to the right, exhale, up. Inhale, side bend, exhale, come back up for three. Two, last one, use those obliques, up, and then come down. Now, open your arms wide up to the sides. 
Little bend to your elbows, exhale, fingertips come together. Open, together, and open. Exhale, and inhale again. We're gonna go for three more here. Two, last one. Now hold together, inhale, rotate to the right, exhale, rotate left. Inhale, right, exhale, left. Trying to get those obliques to fire on our rotation. Two more. And then last one. All right, then once we come back, relax. We're gonna keep the strap into our right hand, set your right knee down, and now we're going to rotate so we're facing the foot bar. Hands are down on your carriage, two front corners. We're gonna take our knees in between our shoulder blocks and then keep the left hand down. Right arm is gonna go along behind you. And then we're gonna do bicep curls here. So we're gonna exhale, curl, inhale, extend, exhale, curl, and inhale, extend. Now again, if you guys wanna challenge your stability a little more, you can reach your left leg back. You can hold here for your bicep curls. Feel free to go long or short loop, it's up to you. Two more. And then last one. Now, let's go ahead, keep that curl. We're gonna lift your elbow up, palm should be rotated to the floor now, and then exhale, reach your arm out in front, bend wide, reach your fingers forward, bend wide. Left leg is up or down, that's up to you guys. Three, two, and one. Relax that right hand. Now, both of my hands are on the front of my carriage. I'm gonna take my left foot down in between both hands, and then I'm gonna kneel nice and tall. Both elbows are gonna be bent, palms are slipping up, and we're gonna exhale, just reach your right arm out. Inhale back, exhale out. Inhale back, making sure that that shoulder stays back as the arm reaches away. Three more. Two, and then last one. Relax that arm, you can rotate back, hang that strap up, we're gonna step off, and then we are going to do the same thing on the other side. So, kneel on your reformers, face your straps. You guys are gonna grab the right strap into your hand this time. Long loop or short loop again up to you. I have my long loop, hand is on the outside frame of the carriage, palm is facing back, shoulders over your hands, hips are right over knees. Ready, exhale, press your right palm back, Inhale, return again. We're stabilizing from our shoulders and our core. Exhale, inhale. Then if you guys wanna add in a little extra challenge with your stability, extend that left leg out and hold here. Three more. Feel that lat tricep. All right, hold back on this one. Tricep press, bend your elbow and press. Again, left leg can either be down or extended behind you. Exhaling it again as you guys press back and then inhaling as you bend. Let's go for three more. Exhale, press. Inhale, bend. Two. And then last one. All right, then once you guys bend your elbow, you can relax your leg back down if it's up. Grab your strap right where the rope connects to the loop. You're gonna pull in, long loop goes onto the arch of your right foot, setting up shoulders over your hands, hips right over your knees. You're stabilizing from your shoulders and your core. We're gonna exhale, press your right leg back behind you, give it a little lift up. And then on your inhale, you guys can bend and come right back in. Exhale, press little lift, inhale, bend. If your wrists are ever an issue, you guys can always drop down onto your forearms rather than being on your palms here. Again, exhale, press, inhale back, feeling our glute max and hamstring fire up here. Let's go for three more. And then the next time you guys press back, hold your leg back behind you. Let's inhale, dip your right toes down towards your springs. Exhale, lift, inhale, dip, exhale, lift. So think straight down with your leg, straight up straight down, straight up, getting that glute max to fire here. We'll go for four, three, two, 
And then on our last one, we'll hold our leg up, flex a foot, little circles of the leg. Again, the pelvis is staying parallel with the floor. The circle is coming right from the head of the femur in that hip socket. Think like fruit bowl size circles here for four, three, two, one. Bend your knee, relax your leg. Take that strap off of your foot. And then once you guys take that strap off, keep it into your hand. We're gonna switch now so the strap is in your left hand. We're gonna rotate to the right side. I'm gonna kneel like center of my reformer. My left foot is gonna go into my headrest and then my right knee down. Again, if this is too heavy for you guys, feel free to switch to a blue spring, a medium spring instead of this red. Arms are gonna open out wide to the sides. Long loop is gonna be lighter for your arm, short loop is heavier. Slight little bend to your elbows on an exhale, arms go up overhead. Inhale, return down. Exhale, fingertips together. Inhale, return. We're gonna go for three more. Exhale together. Inhale, return for two. And then on this last one, we're gonna hold at the top. Inhale, side bend left. And then exhale, pull back, center right. Inhale, left. Exhale, pull back to the right, using those obliques to pull you back. We're gonna do one more here, inhale, exhale, and then you guys can relax your arms. Now, open your arms wide out to the sides of your arms, like little bend to your elbows, hug a tree, exhale, fingertips come out in front of you, inhale, open, exhale, fingertips together, inhale, open, hands are going about chest height when you bring your arms back together. We're gonna go for two more, and then on our last one, we'll hold, inhale, let the strap rotate you to the left, Exhale, rotate to the foot bar. Inhale, rotate left. Exhale, pull to the right. Two more. Getting those obliques of fire. Last one. And then we'll relax our arms. All right, set your left knee down. Go ahead, take both hands to the front side of your reformer, closer to the foot bar. And then when you guys get both hands on, legs go through your shoulder blocks. Again, long loop, light, short loop, heavy. We're gonna go into your bicep curls. Extend your left arm just nice and long behind you. The palm is facing the floor. Exhale, curl in, and then inhale, extend. Exhale, curl, inhale, extend. Now, if you guys wanna challenge yourselves a little more, you can extend your right leg back behind you. Again, you guys don't have to if you don't want to, but if you do wanna challenge your stability, Extend that right leg back. Think stabilize from your shoulders and your core. Draw your abdominals into your back. Two more bicep curls. And then on this last one, hold. Elbow opens out to the side, palm should be rotated to the floor. Exhale, reach your arms straight out, and then inhale, bend wide. Reach overhead, bend wide. We are going to do three more. Exhale, reach. Inhale back for two, and then last one. Now take that left hand onto your carriage. Very carefully set your right foot in between both hands, kneeling nice and tall on your left knee. Both elbows sit your sides, palms should be flipped up. Let's exhale, reach both arms out, and then inhale, bend right back in. Exhale, reach, inhale back. Think shoulders are down. Collarbones are wide. We're gonna reach out for three more. Two, and then last one. All right, when we come in, let's carefully hang that strap up onto the peg. You guys can sit yourselves off to the sides, and then we're gonna go on to one red, one yellow spring. So one heavy, one light, and then you can go ahead and lie yourselves down. Foot bars are gonna stay. So again, one red spring, one yellow, one heavy, one light. When I lie down, I'm going to grab my short loops back into my hands. Arms are gonna reach straight up to the ceiling. Think hands are right over your shoulders. Neutral spine, knees can come up into your tabletop position, legs are zip together. And then we're gonna start with ab curls. So on our exhale, let's press the arms down, nod the chin to the chest, curl up into our abdominal curls, and then inhale as we return back down with control. Exhale, nod and curl. Inhale to return back down. Exhale, press curl. Inhale to return. We're gonna go for three more. Two. 
And then on this last one, we're gonna hold ourselves up here. On an inhale, dip the right toes down towards our springs. Exhale, engage the right obliques to lift. Left toes dip, and then exhale, lift. So think hinging at the hips a bit. Exhale to lift. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, lift. Right toes, right obliques, left toes, left obliques. Let's go for a few more here. One more right, one more left. And then when that left leg comes up, pause. Arms can go up, shoulder heads can go down. You guys can relax your feet. Feel free to give yourselves a little stretch. And then we'll reach our arms back up to the ceiling. Knees can go up into our tabletop position again. One abdominal curl, let's exhale, press, curl up, pause at the top. Inhale, dip both toes down towards our springs. And then exhale, scoop into the low abs to lift. Inhale, hinge the dip exhaling as we lift. I think that lift comes from that two inches underneath your belly button, drawing in and up to pull your legs back. Neutral spine the entire time. We're gonna go for two. Last one. When we come up, arms up, head down, relax the feet. Feel free to give yourself a little stretch. And then we are going to add in some single leg stretch. So let's go arms up to the ceiling. Knees up into our tabletop position. One abdominal curl, you guys can exhale, press, curl up, pause. Inhale, let's reach the right leg out to a challenging level. Exhale to pull back in. Inhale, left leg extends. Exhale in, inhale out. And exhale back. Think engaging our obliques to pull each leg back in. Inhale and exhale. Let's do one more right. One more left. Arms can go up, heads can go down. Relax the feet, give yourselves a stretch. <coughs> we'll extend our arms back up to the ceiling. You guys can bring your knees up into your tabletop position again. Again, one abdominal curl. Let's exhale, press curl up, pause at the top. Inhale, reach both legs out to a challenging level. Exhale, scoop into your low abs to pull in. Inhale out and exhaling as you pull back in. Inhale away, exhale to pull. Think, draw your abs into your backs as you pull your knees back in. We're gonna go for three, two, last one when you come in. Again, arms up, head down, relax the feet, give yourselves a little stretch. And then we're gonna finish off with some straight legs for these next two, for the last two. If it feels better to come out of your neutral spine, you guys can go ahead and come out of your neutral spine. So let's extend our arms up to the ceiling, knees up into our tabletop position. Legs are gonna go straight up to the ceiling. On our exhale, we're gonna press curl back up into that abdominal curl. Inhale, lower your right leg straight down towards your foot bar. Exhale, lift, left leg lowers, and exhale, lift. As always, think single legs, engaging your obliques to pull each leg back up to the ceiling. We'll do three more. One more right. One more left, bend your knees, arms up, head down, relax the feet, feel free to give yourselves a little stretch. Last thing will be that double leg lowering. So let's extend our arms up to the ceiling, knees can go up into our tabletop position, legs go straight up to the ceiling, exhale, press, curl yourselves back up, pause, inhale, lower both legs down to a challenging level, and then exhale, scoop into your low abs to lift. Inhale, lower and exhaling as you lift. Think drawing your abdominals in and up to pull the legs back up. Two more, and then last one. Now when you come up, bend your knees, arms up, head down, relax the feet. We're gonna hang up just your left strap. Right long loop is gonna go onto your right foot. Right leg is gonna go straight up to the ceiling. We're back into our neutral spines. Left knee goes up into your tabletop position. And then on an exhale, let's pull our right leg straight down towards our springs. And then on our inhale, you guys can hinge to come back up. Exhale to lower, inhale, hinge. Think focusing on your unilateral feet and straps, on your pelvic stability. So your sacrum stays heavy, pelvis is staying nice and still. We're exhaling to pull down, inhaling to hinge. Let's go for two. And then last one. Then when we come up, pause at the top, 
extend your left leg nice and long over your foot bars. Scissor kicks, we're gonna exhale, pull the right leg down, kick the left leg up, and then inhale, switch. Exhale, pull and kick, inhale, switch. Now on that exhale, when you guys are pulling your right leg down, think about engaging your left obliques to pull that leg back up. Exhale, pull, kick, inhale, return. We're gonna go for two, and then last one. When that right leg comes up, bring both knees into your tabletop position. Feet and knees are gonna be about six bones distance away, so just about a fifth distance away. And then on our exhale, we're gonna press just our right leg out. Inhale, bend in. Exhale, press the right leg out. And then inhale back. Again, focusing on that nice, stable pelvis for our single leg squats. Three more before we add in your left leg two, then the next time your right leg comes in, left leg goes out, right leg out, left leg in. We're exhaling to push the right leg away, inhaling to bring the right leg back in. Again, think engaging your left obliques on that exhale to pull your left leg in. We're gonna go for two, and then on this last one, hold your right leg out, keep your left knee up into your tabletop, Lower your right leg a little further down towards your strength. We're going to open it slightly out to the side of the room to circle the leg around and back up. We're going to go straight down, open to circle around and back up. Down, around and up. My left hip is staying anchored down into the mat as that right leg circles. Now when we get to the top, pause, reverse the circle. Think like a half moon, capital D shape with this leg. If you guys want a little more stability, you can always hang on to your shoulder blocks with your hands. Should be a little more challenging in this direction. We'll go for two more. And then last one. Now when you come up, pause, set your left foot down on either the wooden platform or the floor. Give your right leg a quick stretch. All right, then we're gonna take that strap off of your foot you can hang it back up onto the peg and then let's grab the left strap long loop goes onto the arch of your left foot <laughs> leg is going to go up to the ceiling just as high as you guys can hold your neutral spines again and then right knee comes up into your tabletop position on your exhale again pull your left leg straight down towards your springs and then inhale hinge to come back up exhale to pull down and inhale as we hinge Again, that focus is that nice pelvic stability. Exhale, lower, inhale, back up. Two more. And then the next time your right, left leg comes up, pause, extend your right leg nice and long over your foot bar. We're gonna pull your left leg down, kick your right leg up, and then inhale, switch for those scissors. Imagine that if you guys are lying down in some clay, everything just stays nice and heavy in that clay. Again, think engaging your right obliques on that exhale to pull your right leg up. Last one. And then when that left leg comes up, bring both knees into your tabletop position. Feet and knees should be just be about that sits bone distance away. Let's exhale, press the right left leg out. Inhale back, just the left leg is gonna press, just the left leg comes back in. So again, that right knee just stays right up into your tabletop position. Exhaling to push, inhale back. We'll go for four more. Two. And then the next time that left leg comes in, right leg goes out, left leg goes out, right leg comes in, and we're gonna alternate those legs, again, exhale, push and pull. Inhale, extend and bend. Four, three, two. Then on this last one, hold your left leg out, keep that right knee in your tabletop. Lower your left leg a little further down towards your springs. We're opening the legs slightly out to the side to circle around and back up. Again, that focus is that your pelvis is staying nice and still. The movement comes right from the head of the femur. 
in that hip socket. So if you guys need to shorten your range of motion to keep your pelvis still, shorten your range of motion. We're gonna do one more. And then when you come up, pause, reverse those circles. And keep that right hip heavy. You can hold on to your shoulder blocks for a little extra stability. We're gonna do three more in this direction. They should be a little more challenging. And then last one. All right, then once you come up, you guys can relax your right foot down. Give your left leg a stretch. Right foot can either be on the floor or the wooden platform. Longer bent. <clears throat> then let's take that strap off of your foot. You can hang it on up. And then once you guys hang your straps up, you can sit yourself off to the sides. You guys are all finished with your class. I hope you like that. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You guys can leave me those super thanks. Thanks for joining me.